Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, Power Come On Out of Podcast, where we talk facts over feelings. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Let's jump on in on this topic. We're talking the World Series. We're talking the World Series. I'm a New York Yankees fan, so it's completely on the table already. You don't have to ask the question. You already know I am a Yankees fan. I have been waiting for a World Series now for 15 years. 15 years. And I have to tell you, this is as, is as exciting a World Series matchup as I think I will ever experience in my life. And I'm saying that before the World Series begins. It could turn out to be a sweep. <laughs> one way or the other if the Yankees sweep then it's absolutely the greatest World Series of my life if the Yankees get swept then it will be one of probably the most depressing World Series of my life but let's jump on into this topic at hand the World Series I'm going to do a quick preview on it give you my opinion obviously you know who I'm going to pick because I'm a Yankees fan so I can't I mean I'm going to be above board on that this is a very even matchup. Like to sit here and say that the Yankees are a prohibitive favorite or not, the, the Dodgers are a slight teeny weeny favorite in this series. I'm actually surprised that the Dodgers are favored tonight, being that the Yankees have Garrett Cole going to the mound against Jack Flaherty. Garrett Cole has been pretty good in the playoffs, whereas Jack Flaherty's gotten absolutely bombed. Um... I think that Garrett Cole has an experience level factor over Flaherty. And I expect Garrett Cole to pitch a great game. Now, <clears throat> you have two teams that are very similar in nature, if you want to be honest about what's going on here. I mean, the, the Dodgers hit it a little bit higher batting average. They score similar runs. Hits are same ballpark. The Yankees hit a couple, a few more homers. On base slugging. All in the same range. Yankees have a better pitching, a better ERA. Yankees ERA, Yankees pitching in the playoffs has been better than the Dodgers. The Dodgers have gotten tagged. The Yankees have not gotten tagged. Like until those last couple of games against Cleveland, Yankees pitching overall been fantastic. You know, so Yankees have been pitching the ball, throwing the ball very well. The bullpen has been other, other, otherwise dominant until those last couple games well not the last game because they won five to two but the games that were which they blew that's they lost seven five in extras and then they won eight six other other than that i mean realistically their bullpen had been excellent so that, that's the question the question of this in this series to me is going to be who's starting pitching can get can run deeper because and that's typically the the, the 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 situation for most most playoff series who has better pitching the yankees have better pitching Usually that's not the case in, in the past. You know, in the last some years, well, the Yankees have struggled to, to make it deep. It's They don't have the pitching. The Yankees starting pitching is better than the pitching of Los Angeles Dodgers. It's that simple. They got Garrett Cole going in game one. Game two is scheduled for Rodon. Rodon will be pitching against, let me pull up. It's amazing. They don't have the pitching matchups here on ESPN. So let me pull this crap up. It'll be Rodon. Who's he going to pitch against? Rodon versus Yoshi Nubi Yamamoto. Yamamoto got his ERA is over five in the playoffs. Rodon is over, over four, but you, Rodon, I've watched Rodon. Rodon's been pretty effective for the most part. He runs into those little glitchy situations sometimes. You got Rodon going in the second game. Then you go to Yankee Stadium. So the games are on Monday, to, um, today and tomorrow. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then they get back to Yankee. They get back to Dodger Stadium potentially on November first and uh, November second, if it goes seven. Right now, the Dodgers' pitching decision for Game Three is not decided. Clark Schmidt is scheduled to, to hit the, the rubber on Game Three, and then on Game Four, you have scheduled pitching. Uh, you don't have a, a starting pitcher yet announced. I think that that starting pitcher will 
for both teams probably will depend on what the series looks like. If the Yankees are in control, you won't see Garrett Cole in game four. If they're not in control, Garrett Cole will pitch game four. He'll run on three days rest. Um, and then you have, again, this is a matter of the pitching, you know, pitching matchups. We, uh, Nestor Cortez, I believe, has been, is, is active. I'm actually, again, I'm surprised that the, the Yankees are, gonna, are the underdog tonight because of who they have on the mound. I will say this, the fact that Fernando Ven- Valenzuela, Ven- Valenzuela, <sighs> Fernando Valenzuela, Valenzuela, I don't want to just kill his name. The fact that he passed away, you're going to see some level of juice in the stadium. People are going to make this series about do it for Fernando type thing. That'll last for an inning. That's what it'll last for an inning. But I think the biggest thing that people have to understand in this series is that the Yankees have gotten here with Aaron Judge otherwise playing like trash. Bluntly, the Yankees are here with Aaron Judge playing like garbage. And that is a big thing. Because I think that Aaron Judge is going to get out of his slump. I do. And maybe you're calling me an overly optimistic person because I'm a Yankees fan. But Aaron Judge has not slumped like this all year, for the most part. Even when he doesn't hit a whole bunch of homers, he gets base hits. There's a reason he hit 322 this season. Now, he did have a couple of big bombs in uh, the series versus Cleveland. But I expect Aaron Judge to be named World Series MVP. I'm calling it right now. Aaron Judge will be the World Series MVP. He's going to step it up. He's going to find himself again and be coming up with the big hits to lead the Yankees to the World Championship. So I gave away my prediction, but I haven't said how many games. Obviously, the Yankees need Juan Soto to continue to hit how he's hitting. The Yankees need. Sorry about that. That was my alarm. The Yankees need Giancarlo Stanton to keep doing what he's been doing. Giancarlo Stanton looks like a different guy. I don't know what it is about the playoffs with Giancarlo Stanton, but when we get to the playoffs, he is someone different. I dare the Dodgers to challenge him. I dare them. Now, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see Aaron Boone messing around with lineups. But the lineup as is, I don't think Jazz Chisholm should hit fifth or fourth. I think Jazz Chisholm has to be moved down the line. I don't think Jazz Chisholm should play. This is where it gets a little dicey for me. I think Osvaldo Cabrera should be playing third. Rizzo should play first. And then late in games, I'd be making some type of defensive shifts. Anthony Rizzo is not a good defensive first baseman anymore. He he was otherworldly terrible in the field against the Indians, the Guardians. Whereas he hit the ball well, so that's a big thing. He did get base hits, and he was he was pretty on with hitting, which is tremendously important for the Yankees. Don't mess around a catcher. Let Austin Wells be your catcher. No flip flopping to Trevino. Who else? Verdugo. Leave him in left field. Don't mess around with it. It is what it is. I just don't want to see messing around with the lineup. Now, Glaber Torres has been a been great. He's been great hitting the ball. With the bat, he's done a great job. He's getting on base. He's table setting. So, but what we haven't seen from the Yankees is one of those explosion games. We haven't seen an explosion Yankees game yet in the playoffs. The most runs they scored, I think, was eight was eight runs in game four. It was eight runs. Whereas the Dodgers are, you know, putting up 10, 10, 8. Even in a loss, putting up six. But again, that just shows the Dodgers are being hit as well. So what 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 do you see? What do I see here? I see a I see the Yankees winning at least one game in LA. I, and possibly both. 
And I'm going to tell you why. The Yankees are a better road team than they are a home team. So the Yankees have to win in L.A. because they're going to lose a game in New York, at least one. They have to win in L.A. They're not going to win this series in New York unless they win both games in L.A. Because I don't see the Yankees winning all three in New York. When the Dodgers went to Yankee Stadium earlier this year, they took two of three games, I believe it was. Let me confirm that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And the guy that gave me all kinds of stomach cramps was Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, they took two of three. And it was a 2-1 game in the 11, 11-3, and then a 6-4 loss. It was a 2-1 game that Teoscar Hernandez in the top of the 11th hit a two-run double to make our lives miserable. Um, he is a guy that drives me crazy. He, he hits the Yankees pretty well, seemingly all the time. In the next game that the Yankees lost, which was the second game, he hit – not one, but two homers, one a grand slam, and um, one to lead off in the second inning. They give him a one nothing lead in the second inning. So Teoscar Hernandez obviously is a guy that feels very comfortable playing against the the Yankees. And, you know, so he's a guy that I, I have a lot more concern about. And even even the game that they lost, he hit a homer in that game too. So even the game that they lost. He was the guy that hit. <clears throat> I have a lot more concern about a guy like Teoscar Hernandez and a guy like Shohei Otani. It sounds crazy. I just feel a lot more comfortable with with Otani than I do with Hernandez. He's he's the type of guy that will be the difference. You know, Otani didn't do much versus the Yankees, to be quite honest. He didn't do a whole lot. Now, could he explode and smash us? Sure, he could. <clears throat> but. It's those ancillary guys that are going to be the ones that make the difference in this series in terms of winning and losing. Now, I think Judge will be the MVP. Nonetheless, I still believe that. And I think Otani will be decent. I think there's a lot of pressure on him to perform. He's being paid a lot of money. He's in he's in Dodger, you know, blue and white. Um, same way there's a lot of pressure on Aaron Judge. But this, is going to, this series is going to come down to pitching. And who can get, obviously, it's the simple f things. Like, that's when people predict freaking, when people make predictions on baseball, so there's always the same shit. Pitching and timely hitting. If you pitch and you hit timely, you're going to win. It's that simple. If we, if the Yankees have to live and die on the, on the home run ball, it won't go well. They have to be able to spray some hits together to drive guys in. But both of these two teams are power hitting teams. They they go, chicks love, the chicks love the long ball. Predict the long ball. And both these teams are long ball type teams. The Yankees have to get something out of Jazz Chisholm. They got to get something out of him. He cannot be this bad. I mean, he's been awful offensively. Terrible. The Yankees' biggest headache is their is their defense is defense and base running. How many runs are they going to give away? That is my concern. How many runs will they just give away? They have to limit the base running blunders. You can't commit base running blunders. And you cannot give away outs. Every out is is magnified to such a higher degree when you're in the, in the playoffs and, of course, in the World Series. You have a guy like Mookie Betts, who's very experienced in the playoffs. I think he'll be, a obviously, a, a contributor, a big contributor for the Dodgers. End of the day, I... I I'm a homer. What can I say? I, I'm a Yankee fan. I can I see the Yankees losing this series? Yeah, I can. Of course I can. I'm not. I'm not crazy. I see. I know the holes of the New York Yankees, but I also know when the New York Yankees play well and pitch well, you're not beating them. And the fact that this is actually beneficial, in my opinion, that they're on the road more, I think they're going to have a much. Be I, I think that they're going to. The Dodgers, who are much better at home, the Dodgers are a great home team. The Yankees have not been a great home team. The Yankees have been a great. The Yankees have the best road record in baseball, and I think they're going to get at least one in LA, possibly both. And I've already said it on multiple sites. I got Yankees in five, and they finish this shit in New York. 
Could it go six? Sure. I got Yankees in five. I'm probably reaching, but you know what? Yankees just one in five. The Yankees just one in five. So, and they should have swept Cleveland. So, and people will say this was the easiest cakewalk the Yankees have ever had to the to the to the World Series. You can say whatever you want. They did their job. They won the first series in four. They won the next series in five, where the Dodgers had to fight to get out of their freaking wa- out of their divisional playoff with the Padres. They had to fight to get out of that one. They were down two two one, came back and won the next two games in shutout fashion. C- kudos to them. They, they they went six with the Mets, so they have a little bit more wear and tear. But I like the Yankees to win this thing. I like the Yankees five four one. Maybe 4-2. It's not going 7. It's not going 7. This uh, People won't think what they want. This series isn't going 7. This is going to be a 5 or 6 game series, but I got Yankees in 5. Aaron Judge, World Series MVP. Crown that man and pay him his damn respect. Because he's got his money. It's time to give him his respect. Now, I will say this. If Aaron Judge does not show up and the Yankees win this series... Aaron Judge is going to get lambasted by New York media. If he doesn't show up and they lose this series, he's going to get lambasted by everybody. Everybody. They're going to look at this guy like he is a all-time regular season performer and an absolute choke artist in the playoffs. Because watching him play over the last... 10 games in the playoffs. He's four, four and nine games in the playoffs. Overall, he's been bad. The strikeout percentage is way too high. Way too high. He's striking out on shit. It's like he's late on everything. So I hope someone throws him a few cement mixers and he parks them in the stands. Let Flaherty continue to have his seven ERA in the playoffs. But that's my thought. Yankees in five. You heard it here first. Take it or don't take it. But we're ending this 15-year drought, baby. That's all I got. Facts for feelings here. Rudy Rodriguez Show. Mont, come on now with podcast. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one.